buy a new washer and dryer? Cool. Before you decide, let's make sure the ones you choose will be a perfect fit in your laundry room. For starters, measure the height, width, and depth of the space where your washer and dryer will live. Be sure to note the distance from the floor to any adjacent countertops and to the bottom of any overhead shelves or cabinets. For top load washers, make sure to have at least 20 inches above the machine. This is a space you'll need to allow the door to open. Remember that pedestals add height too. Most measure about 14 inches. Keep that in mind if you're planning to use pedestals with front load machines. You also need to leave a little breathing space so your washer and dryer stay properly ventilated. Allow for an inch of space on each side and a six inch gap between the appliances and your back wall. Deduct these measurements from your available space to come up with the final dimensions. Also, make sure you have room to fully open your washer and dryer doors and check to confirm whether your dryer is gas or electric. For gas dryers, you'll need a gas shutoff valve positioned behind the appliance, a three-prong 110-volt electric outlet, and a ventilation port. For electric dryers, you'll need a 220-volt electric outlet and a ventilation port. Last but not least, think about the route that your appliances will take when they're being delivered. Measure doorways, stairways, and any other areas where there might be a tight fit. Use these measurements when you shop online or bring them into a Best Buy store. With our huge selection of products and knowledgeable blue shirts, we'll help you find the perfect washer and dryer.